and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the best my 10 player to choose. Now, I was going to save this video initially for the day it actually reve uh, revealed, which was going to be Friday. But the issue with that is that it reveals at about 4 p.m. So by the time I make the video going over it, and then I can't post the next video to like 6.37ish to go over who you should pick. By that point, three hours later, most of you guys probably already picked it and then couldn't get the help from the video. So I figure like it's the best thing is to make it now. I'm still going to put the wild card on my list so I can imagine where it'll be because it's going to be the highest overall one. So I'll slot it in. I'd imagine this wild card is going to be a top five option. So remember, I'm putting it in there. I'm going to rank this in order of um, 10 to 1 going least to greatest on all the ones i'm gonna give you guys reasoning position eligibility as to why i feel like their position is more uh, valuable than this one i'm gonna be going over everything in this video guys i got everything covered for you guys i'm gonna be doing this through the auction block obviously because then you can actually see all the card stats but before we get into this video make sure you're going below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell boys if you've been enjoying the content if you're new to the channel and you've been watching haven't hit that sub button make sure to hit it come join the family we're almost at 11k let's get to 20k as quickly as possible and 11k obviously we're gonna hit that first and then comment down below who you're personally planning to choose from my 10 i want to see all your guys choices what's the consensus make sure to give this video a big thumbs up give this video let's get this video to 200 likes all the ogs all the low supporters best way to show support hit that like button boys now let's go over to programs mutt 10 i got my list right here on my phone so coming in at number 10 there's plenty of options right i actually i don't know if this is gonna be an unpopular choice i went with julius peppers for number 10 I think he's the worst one. I'll go over why. So the 84 speed and 88 excel is decent. It's it's good it's good accelerate. It, it's good excel. It's good athleticism. But strength's a little low. Tackling's a little low. Play rack's okay. Block shedding's way too low. The only stat above 90 on this card is finesse move. And this is a limited time card we're talking about. Now you compare him to my Cam Jordan, my free Cam Jordan from House Rules. He's not as he's not as athletic, obviously, but he has better strength better tackle better play wreck better block shed better power move and quite honestly i don't care about the finesse move because i, I feel like you only need to have one of them so he's pretty much a more athletic worse he's just he's not that great of a passer he's a decent pass rusher and a bad bad run stuffer i don't want him i feel like for that i'd much rather get a player like cam jordan who's very comparable for a quarter of the price without having to waste my card next on the list is a guy that i actually kind of like but you can't justify his price point that is joe thomas 93 overall left tackle for the Cleveland Browns. A legend in real life. But the stats aren't that you think for a limited time, 93 overall left tackle, everything should be above 90. His strength, his awareness, his pass blocking, and his run blocking. But two of his stats are below 90. And it's not even like they're high 90s. His pass block should have been like 95s for a 93 overall. But look, you compare him to my Anthony Munoz, and the strength is by one, the awareness is by three, the pass block's by three, the pass block power is by two, the run block power, uh, uh, finesse is by five, the run blocking is by two. The run blocking power is by two, and the, the run block focus by three. So essentially, and that's also the overall difference. If you power up Munoz and you put Kems on him, he will be very close to this Joe Thomas for, again, a quarter of the, not even, way more than a quarter of the price. Like, way less, I mean. Goes to like 1.23 million. I'd much rather have Munoz and take another guy. Like, Munoz will get the job done considerably, and then just take another guy on this list. Next on the list is a guy that at one time I thought was so overpowered, and looking at him now, it's really not that crazy. Patrick Willis, right? He goes for 600k now. He's a lot. He's also a lot cheaper. I mean, if you wanted Willis, just buy him at this point instead of using your card on him. It's really cheap. 86 speed, 86 excel, 84 strength, 89 tackle, 88 play rate, 87, 86 block shed, 98 power, 74 zone. Again, only one stat above a 90. And at one point, I thought this card was overpowered, but you compare to my Ray Lewis just came out. Ray Lewis goes to like 350k. Better speed by two, better excel by two, better strength by four, better tackling by four, better play rec by five, better block shed by four. Better power move, hit power by three, and the zone's kind of irrelevant to me. And he goes for way, he goes for less, and he's a better overall, and he's Ray Lewis. So that's just my personal opinion. Ray Lewis comes in at number, I mean, Patrick Lewis comes in at number eight. Number seven on the list is a good idea of a card. He's fun, but quite frankly, I don't think he's the best option. Calvin Johnson coming at number seven. 88 speed, 87 excel is good. 89 play rec is good. 91 zone is good. The hit power is low, the pursuit's low, the tackle's low, and the man's low. And this, this, the height's really great. The catching's quite low for a Calvin card. And if you compare him to my Brian Dawkins, who again is only 200k, same speed, same, almost same excel, better tackle, almost same play rec, 
better pursuit, similar man, slightly better zone, but way better hit power. So these cards are pretty much have the same athleticism, the same zone, the same everything, except the hit power hits threshold. So for that close of a card, again, for that close of a card, I want a card that's like game breaking different. And these cards just look like too similar to legend cards. So Calvin's off the list. Next, coming at number six is Bo Jackson. Now, the only reason I like Bo Jackson, by the way, let me backtrack. Another reason these guys are last, because first off, Peppers is in the depth position. You only really use one left end. Thomas is in the depth position. You only use one left tackle. So like the second they're phased out, you, they're done on your team. Patrick Willis is a depth position, but I don't like his stats enough. We get Shazier, we get White, we get so many other guys. And then Calvin is not a depth position either, call for safety. Now he gets a uh, Bo Jackson, that is a depth position. I actually use one to three halfbacks per game with how much I run. So that's not bad. Second, Bo Jackson still has reputable stats right now, like not horrific stats compared to other running backs. So he's still usable and not to mention the fact that he'll most likely get a Christmas card or something. So he could be part of a power up chain for you, which isn't bad at all. Cause you're gonna, when this one, when you're gonna want this card for that time being, and you're not gonna wanna buy a limited time 600K card that time. He's got 90 speed, 89 excel, 88 agility, 80, 89 carrying, 58 catching, 87 elusiveness, 91 trucking, 89 break tackle. This card still stands up. Some of the best cards in Madden. Very good option, number six. Number five, I'm gonna put in the wild card. I think the wild card at worst has to be number five. He's gonna be the best. He's gonna be the highest overall card, most likely, either a 93 or a 94. He's gonna be right at the end. He's probably gonna be a banger because he sells him to the end. So I'm gonna put him in the top five. I can't rank him any higher because I don't know who he's gonna be. Coming in at number four is Rob Gronkowski. Now, the only other reason, he's a depth position. You could play, I play like three tight ends. You could use him as a blocker, a catcher, um, a wide receiver. Like you could use him anywhere you want, really. In in terms of that, most most formations I come out and have at least two tight ends. So you're gonna be able to even put him at a tight end three as we get in later in the year and still have him there. He's good for chems and everything. He's six foot six, 83 speed, 84 strength, 89 catching, 90 catch in traffic, 90 spec catch. Subpar route running, subpar run blocking in my opinion, but you compare him to a guy like George Kittle. He's, he is obviously similar, but the catching is definitely overpowered. He has really good catching stats. He's Rob Gronkowski. He's fun, and he's at tight end. So you could use him at the one, the two, or the three. So even if you get another new tight end, he still could be the two, and then he could be the three. Other guys like Calvin, you really can't move him much after that. You're not going to put him at cornerback, obviously. I mean, you could, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. So next on the list, we got number three, which I'm going to put Michael Vick. Now, Michael Vick is because, first off, it's Vick. One of the most popular cards every year, although his popularity just kind of faded a bit this year, more so than ever. But he's gonna. That's why I have Shaker on him because I already envision that I'll probably have a Vic at some point this year. Not to mention, most people are going to want a Vic when that next Vic card comes out. We all know that we're gonna get that crazy Vic card at some point, and when we get that crazy Vic card, everyone's gonna want. Him. He's gonna be like a 96 overall around Christmas or something. He's gonna be. He's gonna have all the passing thresholds with the speed, which we. we that's that's when Vic gets crazy. He's when he gets the passing thresholds with the speed. So we're going to have like a 93 speed, all above 90 passing, or at least close to it when you power and chem him up. So that's the Vic we're going to wait for. So you can still always take this Vic, power it up. This car's still going to be amazing. And then you're going to be able to wait for the next big Vic. Next on the list, we got Randy Moss. Randy Moss is a no-brainer. This card is overpowered. I currently use his power-up card, but that, but that doesn't do him justice. Like this power-up card's not the same. This full card right here has above 91. If you power this guy up, he's going to have like 92 speed, 93 jumping, 91 catching, 88 catch traffic, which would be chemmed up with go deep, 91 spell, 92 spec catch, 87 short route running, or 86 short route running, 87 medium route running, 80 and 93 deep. So that's powered up. Now, if you chem him up with go deep and everything and jump out and passing, this card's going to have like all above 90 stats. He's six foot four. He's a monster. And after the catch also, he gets his money there too. I'm pretty sure he's amazing after the catch. Yeah, ball carrier vision, a decent, no, he's not amazing, but he has a decent juke and a decent ball carrier vision. So really not horrible at all. Now, number one on the list is primetime Deion Sanders. I just, I'm a big fan of Deion because he does so much, right? He can play, he can play defense. He plays the special teams and that's huge. The special team is going to be huge for him. He can do a lot. And not just that, like uh, it's any, any cornerback can play good defense, right? Any cornerback you get with good defense can play it. But what's important is what he can do afterwards. Because like, if, let's say there's games where your offense is struggling, right? You're really just not having a good offensive game. You can't really score too much. Dion could break a game open. He, if he gets a pick, I'm not kidding. More than more than not, he's going to be able to return it at least far and put you in good field position. And you know those games where you're just struggling and you really can't do anything all game? Dion really makes that much better. And he doesn't just get picks. He gets like, I'm pretty sure, depending on the catch level you have at cornerback, depends on the animations you get. Because I'm not kidding. My power of Dion gets these contested picks that I literally haven't seen any other cornerback do this year one-handed contested and he does them consistently too so this deal is gonna get crazy good pick animations good contested pick animations and not to mention he could return any pick back to the house and he could return kick so i think he's overall the most dynamic threat from the uh, options and you compare him to a guy like ramsey obviously he doesn't beat him in man zone or press but the man in zone are close enough the play wrecks better the jumping's close enough but then what you get him is the agility the excel the speed 
the catching, which should be yeah, 78. It should be higher, but they're gonna kind of. I think they're doing it by animations based on catching. So by keeping his catching low, kind of stops overpoweredness this year. But this card's overpowered. 91 kick return, 90 ball carrier vision, 91 elusiveness, 86 spin move, 90 juke move. This card's overpowered. It's prime time Dion, one of the most popular cards, and he's at cornerback. So you play him at the one, the two, the three, or the four. This card can easily be on your team for at least three more months, even if he ends up being a four. But guys, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this helps you guys pick your cards. If you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, boys. It, be, it goes a long way. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Come join the family. If you guys haven't already, comment down below who you plan to choose from this. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.